Hey guys, my name is Andrew and I'm here with the fastest facts, the side of the tracks. The point of this video is not to bash any kind of job decision you've made in the past. It is to say the straight facts of how much a data scientist is worth over a data analyst or a management consultant or someone else that works mainly in Excel. Why are data scientists paid more than 80% higher? How do I get a six figure job right out of college? And how do I get the satisfaction of pressing the like button and the subscribe button as hard as I can. Trust me, it's really fun. The cool kids are doing it. If you can stay with me to the very end, I'd appreciate it. Let's get going. Bam. Are you still there? What are you talking about? Just gonna give myself a pandemic haircut. A little off the top. Perfect. The way this video is gonna be structured is that I am going to play some footage of me solving a real problem that a non-data scientist has. I have 40 minutes to make life simpler for a non-data scientist. You're watching 40 Minute Deliverable. Now, this person is my roommate, Hector, and he is my best friend working on non-data science problems here in Silicon Valley. And I wanted to show you exactly what a data scientist like me bumbling through a problem that he has just been presented can solve it in 40 minutes, something that would probably take at least four hours for a team of non-data scientists. And if I don't complete in 40 minutes, then I have to wear that pumpkin for the rest of the day. And the reason why it's gonna take 40 minutes is because I have a client interview in the next 40 minutes. So am I gonna have to wear that pumpkin during that meeting? Let's find out. I'll be popping in periodically so that you can see my own commentary. So it's like a commentary show on a commentary show. Here's the three parts that we need for this project. It's essentially a data science freelance project and we need to one, Google all the stuff because I don't know how to do it off the top of my head. Two, I need to implement and try and test it out so that make sure that it scales. And then three, I need to teach it to my best friend here and the person, the client, Hector. Hector, what kind of job do you do? Well, I work at the sourcing department of this bank company, and my job right now is to consolidate a list of hourly rates that all of our suppliers are going to send uh, for different uh, roles that this fan company is requiring. What I need here is a program that is able to consolidate all of these Excel files into one single Excel file that contains all of the information I need. Okay, so this would normally take some non-data scientist hours of opening up Excel. Let's look at what one of these documents look like. So it's just a document with a couple of tabs, maybe Europe and USA, and we have all the job titles here. What is gonna happen is we're gonna have to ingest these values from the Excel uh, sheet and then play around uh, in Python, probably Pandas, and then output it back into one single Excel sheet. So let's see if we can do this in 40 minutes. All right. While I'm coding and Googling, Hector's going to be heck, carving up that pumpkin uh, just in the case that I fail the challenge and I need to wear that pumpkin for the rest of the day. Let's get started. All right, good luck, buddy. Let's get to it. I'm gonna win. <laughs> we'll see about that. The beginning of this journey was pretty rough. If I don't finish this in 40 minutes, I will have to wear that pumpkin on my head. And I did have a series of client meetings that day, so I really didn't want to have to do that. Hmm. So the output and the input, I have to start thinking about exactly what's gonna go into it, because USA and Europe are two countries, but of one vendor. Import pandas SPD. That, read Excel, and it's called Grade Card Template. Oh. Install XLRLD. Uh, I don't know what that means. What does that mean? So to pip install inside a Jupyter Notebook, just use bang, and then you can write a terminal command, pip install. Yay, okay. Yay, this is great. Oh, ooh, uh oh. Uh oh, this is the actual file. Just, just making sure the output we mm -hmm. want. Do we want each vendor to be a worksheet or do we want the best vendor from each? No, so every vendor is going to submit a file containing multiple tabs yep. that contains all of the inputs from the different uh, files. 
Now, the most important part of a data science project is that the end result is clear and compelling, something that one, needed your data science expertise in order to make it faster or scalable, and two, something that you can easily visualize before you get to it. So that's something that I had to make sure with Hector that we were both on the right page. Okay. Is everything okay? No, no, it's so yeah, easy. Got the, got the measurements already. Here. It's so easy. Okay. I, okay. This is, uh, time is passing though. Seven minutes in. Um, now I'm gonna do some iOS stuff. Let me do Stack Overflow can tell me. Import OS, there we go. Or oh, recursively with Pathlib. Oh, I do love recursion, but maybe not right now. Okay, so borrowing someone else's code. Hello, dear sir. <laughs> I'm gonna start coding. Okay. I'm gonna start coding. Yeah, it's never gonna go on my head because uh, I'm gonna win. Okay. We'll see about that. It ends with Excel. Then we we want to uh, read it. Oh, but we need to read each sheet. Oh, you just have to put each sheet name. Read all sheets directly into an order dictionary. Oh, cool. All right, let me try this with the vendor one. We're learning today. Read Excel got unexpected name, sheet name. Okay, so this is the sheet name. Not me. Oh, I vendor see a lot of red. Is, is, that, is that a good thing? It's a really good thing. Okay, cool. The more red, the better, actually. Oh, oh okay, okay. Just checking. Is this not the name? Under one? It is the name. Huh? I see it right here. At this rate, I'm struggle bussing. I feel like a lot of time has gone past. It is just getting right down to the bare tax of hitting a bug pretty early on. And that's one of the worst things to feel when you are on a time crunch. Something that should be pretty easy to solve that you've solved before in the past and for some reason right now, it's just not coming to you. Oh, I didn't want to have to hit a bug like this. A bug? File not found? What's that? It's uh, it's, it's, it's of no concern. Excel oh, 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 all good then? Everything's, everything's cool? Everything is so cool. Everything is awesome? Why is it not working? Okay. Wait, wait, what's not working? Everything is working, right? Everything's working. Oh, okay, just checking. Excellent. Okay, I finally overcame this hurdle. Aha. Is it a map? Oh, it is. Oh, that's so cool. Read the Excel sheet and get a list of sheets, then choose, there are a few options. Okay, so now it's already in a dictionary. Halfway. Uh, my Jupiter is not a... Uh... Jupyter lab. Import pandas. This is not gonna run. How about df equals this? Uh, country equals i. So actually, let's do country if my var in locals. Ag df in locals. Uh, concat it. Otherwise, create ag df. That's pythonic. Uh, pd dot concat ag df. Okay. Oops. Okay. How does concat work? Pandas dot concat. Yarn dicks true. Nope, that didn't work. Oh, it needs to be in a list. Hey, now what is that? Good? Do you have to equal now? Oh, ho, ho, this is dope. Oh, it didn't work. Uh, hold on, where was that just a second ago? Oh, you have to set it. Oh, I'm a dummy. <laughs> I'm a big dummy. Hooray! Okay, that worked. Oh yeah, that's an issue because each of these has a hidden sheet. A hidden, no, a hidden uh, column. No, they have a hidden sheet, it's called sheet one. Delete, there we go. Oh yeah, you can ignore that one. We must, because it's uh, it messes up everything. So we have to do this again, this, and this. Okay, here we go. So we have job title, one, two, three, four, country, location, experience level, rate. Where are all these hidden columns coming from? Country, I have experience level and location. Oh, well. So incrementally what we've done so far in the first 20 minutes is we've been able to take one Excel sheet, all of its worksheets into one uh, pandas data frame. So now we need to be able to uh, aggregate multiple Excel sheets into one data frame. Okay, uh, I'm going to define this as a, home, as a function, file to df. Sheet. 
sheet to df map. Okay. So then this is going to be what happens here. Probably shouldn't call it ag df as well. We should probably call it, um, let's just call it deliverable. If deliverable in locals, then we can cat it. And if not, then we set it equal. I need to save some time at the in the end so that I can explain this to Hector. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Else, else continue, yeah, don't do anything. Okay, yeah, but also we need to be able to find the name of the worksheet, so hold on. Oh, actually, you know what? I'll just iterate. Yeah, I'll just iterate. Okay, I figured out what to do. So what we're going to do is we currently have the building block of taking a worksheet and turning it into a pandas data frame. Now we need an entire directory, an entire folder of worksheets and turn that into a data frame. So what we need to do is the exact same logic. Uh, and now it's going to iterate through each file in this directory under count plus equal one. And then we're going to uh, have vendor, vendor plus vendor count. How about that? I think that's perfect. Okay, let's try it. Nani? This is why you should write your own code, kids. I'm gonna write it all over. <laughs> Import OS. <laughs> oh, I'm a dummy. This is. <laughs> this goes here. <laughs> I unindented it correctly. Aha! I thought so. Directory and string not defined. Oh, where did I get this code? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not calling it quits yet. The directory and string is just, um, it's just nothing, right? Oh, there we go, that worked. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> is that a good aha? Uh -huh? No, it's a bad aha. Uh -huh. uh, oh, yes, 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 because we need it to be Hector. Defined it up here. Uh, none type object does not support item assignment. Which of these is a none type object? Oh, it's because DF doesn't exist. Take me back to school, please. Ag, df. Okay, there we go. Aha! So now we have vendor one, vendor two, vendor three, vendor four. A USA. Here, a USA. Yeah. This, yeah. This does it. Okay, great. So now that we have it, we need to output this into. Okay, I have ten minutes left. Uh, output this into a. Um, output pandas into Excel. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on, come on, come on. And there's no such file as a card template. Popkins ready. Into one sheet. Oh, is that it? Is that all I did? To Excel, to deliverable, that blah, blah, blah. Okay, that didn't work. No module named. I'm reading documentation. <laughs> Let's see if it worked. So what we have here, a file. Mm -hmm with every region, mm -hmm. every country, and every vendor. Data scientist, data engineer, data analyst, and YouTuber. All right, now, with the last five minutes remaining, Very nice. I'm going to explain my code to Hector. One of the most important things about this section is that you have to be able to return to your code and explain it in the future. So I bring back the first, second, third, and fourth steps later on. But one of the first and most important things is that you should be able to read your code and test it modularly. Jupyter Notebooks and Labs are pretty good at doing this for you and helping you separate what you need to run individually with cells, but you can also easily do this with a series of modular Python files. What you expected to see delivered was a bunch of different Excel sheets with the exact same format, uh, with a bunch of different worksheets, all put into one final sheet. So let me do it step by step, actually. I'm not quite ready yet for this. For, for this. You're really looking over my head like a hawk, huh? Step four, and this is step five, uh, which is this. <laughs> That's it. Oh, just one line of code? <laughs> just one line. Okay, easy. Okay, so this, okay, okay. So welcome, Hector, to this investor meeting. Uh, we have three minutes to explain, so sit down and listen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> First what you step, got? What you got? we have to import pandas as a PD. So we're done with step that. One. Mm -hmm. Step Easy. two is to use a pandas method called read Excel, and that reads in whatever Excel sheet that we're trying to, to plug in. Right now, it's called v1.xl. Got it. it. X. And so the that's folder, what this looks like right the now. The folder is Hector, right? Yes, I put the folder in Hector. Perfect. Okay. The, if you set sheet name to none, it'll come out as a dictionary. Okay. And so with this dictionary, the key is the worksheet name and the 
uh, value is the data frame. So from, the, so from that, we are able to do step three, which is convert an entire Excel file to DF. So we've defined this function called file to DF, which takes in this output that we have up here. Got and it. then for each country, because we know each worksheet is a country. Exactly. But we could just name this as worksheet instead. And we can have as many uh, sheets as we want, right? Within exactly. A work. Perfect. So then we define in this data frame the country of the worksheet. And then we test whether or not the, um, the final output file is already a variable that we've defined. Ah. Mm -hmm. If it's not, then we have to make the very first data frame that comes out the output data frame. And if it already exists, then we need to concat it with the, with the current data frame. Concatenation, got it. Mm -hmm. And then this returns the aggregated data frame. And then you move on to the next one, right? This is like a, a Exactly. A so this okay. is loops until the worksheet is completely outputted into one data frame. Perfect. All right, so the next step is a little trickier because you need to find out, uh, you need to go to your path in the directory. Mm -hmm. And then you need, uh, the reason why I initialize a variable called vendor count is because I need to make a new column in this data frame that takes in uh, what vendor this is. And nice. right now, the best part about this is that if I make a vendor count, it doesn't matter what the name of the file is. As long as it's an Excel sheet, and mm -hmm. as long as it fits with uh, what we've what we've created so far, then it'll be ingested all the same, and it'll just be called vendor two, three, four. Five. Perfect. That's an, that's an added bonus I was not expecting. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Um, and so then it uh, it if it sees that this file in the directory is an Excel sheet, then it's going to add one to the vendor count. And then it's going to do the step number two. This is step two. Step two. And then it's going to do step three, which calls the function that we wrote here and creates a new DF. So this is the file, this is a DF that represents the entire worksheet. Sets the column of strings all to the vendor whatever number. Right? And that is uh, and this is the entirety of step four. If the deliverable is in locals concat it, which means it already exists. Mm. And if it doesn't exist, then make it the first DF. So once you nice. finish that step in the Excel sheet, database. call whatever you want it to yeah, call. The final deliverable, right? And then that is what the deliverable looks like. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Well done. All right. So today, no pumpkin head that, you know, I'll wear it. I'll wear it for two minutes. Oh, you'll wear it for two minutes? Awesome. Yeah. Ready? This better fit exactly on top of my head. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so heavy. <laughs> if this video made you smile in <laughs> any way, then I think you have an obligation to smash that like button, leave a comment about what you learned during this 40 minute deliverable. As always, my name is Andrew. We're gonna continue doing fun challenges and if you wanna stay, please hit that subscribe button and that bell button so that you don't miss out on any of this content. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace. Woo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could have worn that. <laughs>